Welcome to Crew Wine Cable News' monthly webcast. I'm Natalie Nodrugan, the editor in chief of Crew Wine Cable News. This month, we are looking at the nine month 2019 company financial results for Europe, in which we cover the financial performance of four main publicly listed companies, namely Prismian, Nexans, NKT, and Leone. If you wish to find out more about the financial performance of these companies or those in other world regions, please contact us to subscribe to Crew Wire and Cable News. If you're already a subscriber, you can find this type of coverage under the analysis tab on the website and in the monthly PDF reports that are emailed to you. In this webcast, we will start by looking at the general financial performance of our four companies and follow this with an analysis of the main European cable trends. Over the nine-month 2019 period, ending September 2019, Nexans was the only company which saw an increase in consolidated sales, while Prismian, Leone and NKT showed declines. Prismian and NKT's sales mainly fell on the phasing issues the companies experienced for their HV and EHV subsea projects business over the second half of 2018 and the first half of 2019. Prismian also said that over the third quarter of 2019, sales declined on a slowdown in demand for energy cables from the construction sector in North America and Europe and for fiber optic cables, particularly in from European customers. NKT reported low sales for low voltage cables in France and Scandinavia, while Leone was affected by the slowdown in the global automotive sector. Nexans did not experience the same slowdown for its automotive cables as it offers into more niche markets. The company saw a 6.2% sales increase for Q3, fueled by a resilient truck market in the US. It also reported strong demand for power cables into building and electricity distribution in Europe, South America and Australasia, as well as for fiber optic cables into telecoms infrastructure, particularly France. However, sales in its high voltage and extra high voltage projects business was not immune to the phasing issues experienced by Prismian and NKT and therefore saw a 2% year-on-year decline over the nine-month period. So therefore, if we look at the combined nine-month consolidated sales for the four publicly listed companies studied in this report, we can see that the nine-month 2019 period is weaker than that of the prior year, with combined sales falling 1.4% year-on-year to 17.8 billion euros. For Prismian, Nexans and NKT, the various phasing issues that affected the high voltage and extra high voltage subsea and land segments was a major cause in this decline in sales, while for Leone, the weakness in the automotive industry is the main cause for the decline in the German automotive cable and harness producers' nine-month 2019 consolidated revenue. Q3 was also much weaker falling 4% year on year to a combined total of four of 5.43 billion euros. This chart also shows how historically Q3 is a relatively weak quarter in Europe due to the lull in industrial activity as a result of the long summer holiday season. Over the nine month 2019 period, Prismian continued to experience a healthy operating margin of 9.0% an increase from the 7.5% operating margin of the prior year period. This is because it has benefited from its merger with General Cable. However, Leone and NKT suffered a steep decline in operating margins. This is because both companies are not diversified, with the result that the negative effects on the automotive industry have impacted Leone's margin and the phasing issues affecting HV and EHV projects have eaten away at NKT's profitability. Nexans is missing from the chart as it does not post operating profit or net profit figures for its Q1 and Q3 financials and we are therefore unable to make a comparison. So what are the main European cable trends over the nine month 2019 period? These can be summarized as follows. HV and EHV cable order backlog grows again. HV and EHV cable tendering activity intensifies. 
large project awards during nine, the nine month 2019 period, a weak automotive market, a steady telecoms market, but a weaker Q3, and various restructuring efforts at European companies. So judging from Prismians and NKT's order books, the HV and EHV subsea and land cable markets have improved substantially from the same period last year. Most of these improvements took place in Q3 2019. Prismian's order backlog at the end of September 2019 amounted to 2.15 billion euros compared to 1.9 billion euros in December 2018. Meanwhile, NKT was awarded a number of projects in Q3 2019, which increased the HV cable order backlog to 1.09 billion euros at the end of Q3. Around 10% of NKT's backlog is expected to be realized in Q4 2019, around 45% in 2020, and the remaining for 45% in 2021 and beyond. Finally, Nexans said that its subsea cable segment showed improved performance during Q3, with operating rates increasing at the subsea high voltage plant, as well as the work of the submarine laying vessel. Nexans backlog is above 1.2 billion euros with a 90% load ratio for 2019-20. The outlook for 2020 and 2021 looks much more promising for subsea and LAN HV and EHV cable demand. Intense tendering activity is taking place for a number of major projects around Europe, both for subsea and LAN cables. Of note are Germany's underground EHV cable tenders for the Zuid Ostlink and Zuidlink and the Attica Creek project in Greece. These projects will require the participation and supply from all major suppliers in order to satisfy demand. A number of very large HV and EHV projects for offshore wind farm cabling and interconnectors were awarded to Prismian, Nexans and NKT in the past nine months, mainly in Europe. You can read about these projects in Crew Wire and Cable News. Weak automotive markets as well was experienced over the nine month period. Prismian said that its sales to the automotive sector was adversely impacted, particularly by the volume decrease in this business in North America and Europe. However, Nexans bucked the trend as it supplies into a different part of the automotive market. Nexon said its automotive harness business posted a 6.2% sales increase for Q3 2019, fueled by a resilient truck market in the US. Worst affected was Leone, which predominantly reply, supplies into all parts of the automotive market, with a 5.5% year-on-year decline in consolidated sales for its nine-month 2019 results, and a net loss of 264 million euros compared to a net profit of 108 million euros in the prior year period. Producers report that optical fiber cables reported solid growth over the nine month 2019 period from broadband, from broadband network development projects mainly in North America and Europe, but that this slowed over Q3 2019. Prismian said this was mainly due to an increase in stock levels of European clients. Nexon said that its telecom infrastructure sales rose by 5.2% year-on-year in Q3 and 9.3% year-on-year for the nine-month period. This performance was propelled by the optical fiber sector in which its positioning is principally in Europe, where fiber rollouts are still going strong, notably in France. Both Nexans and Prismian also reported healthy demand for subsea fiber optic cables. All companies under review are undergoing some sort of major restructuring effort. Prismian is integrating the newly purchased general cable into its structure.
Nexons continues to roll out its new Nexons 2019-2021 restructuring plan across the whole company. NKT is streamlining and focusing its business further with a review of its photonics division, while Leone is conducting some deep reorganization with its Value 21 program. Prismian's efforts are geared at maximizing the benefits of the merger and trimming excess capacity, as seen by its recent announcement of plant closures in Spain. Nexens is trying to raise profitability by focusing on more value-added segments and reducing its exposure to others. As part of Nexens' restructuring plans, the company has since closed its high-voltage and extra-high-voltage unit at Yangu, China, and is in the process of shutting its land high-voltage plant in Hanover, Germany. Leone is culling 2,000 jobs globally, has introduced a group-wide hiring freeze and delayed salary increases for non-tariff employees and managers. The company also announced that it is either planning a partial sale of its wire and cable solutions division or to list it as a separate entity on the stock market by 2020. That concludes our webcast for this month. If you wish to research the subjects and issues discussed in this webcast further, please do not hesitate to contact me directly on my email or by phone. Thank you for listening.